When I first made the transition from hard news journalism to writing for marketing purposes about three years ago, the creation of content that was useful and relevant and practical was pretty much the be all and end all of the process. Um, with the simultaneous rise of the social consumer and um, the proliferation of web analytics, the role has evolved into something far more complex, something that's more of a um, business or marketing function that's designed to drive proven profitable um, action. And as a result, that's where the strategy part has come in as an attempt to meet those business objectives. They say businesses that block generate up to 67% more leads than businesses who don't. Um, so if you're not sharing information that's relevant and useful to your market, then chances are you're losing a large portion of the online market share. Um, another fun stat to consider there is the estimation that by 2020, your customers will manage up to 85% of their relationship with your brand before they ever speak to a human being or a sales consultant. So the creation of highly engaging, relevant, interactive content that will help them self-direct their own journey down the sales funnel is more important than ever before. My role as a content strategist involves overseeing the production of content and copy um, of our team of three copywriters or content creators as we call them. Um, we basically have to, as content strategists, understand who the audience is, um, conceptualize the concepts that will really speak to them, and then give those tasks to the copywriters to create. Then the content strategist steps in once again after that's published to dig into the data and to figure out is this really working? What is it meeting our objectives? What are the KPIs we set for each content piece? And are they really meeting that? Um, that's, that's pretty much our role, to then go back and rework and optimize um, the content that has been created by our copywriters. First off, you've got to start by understanding your audience. Um, investing time and energy in creating buyer personas is key for us because if you don't know who your market is, you don't know what resonates with them. You need to know what keeps them up at night in order to create content that solves that problem. The second thing is you've got to understand where they are. So if your audience is mostly over the age of 40, for example, chances are they're spending more time on Facebook and Pinterest than they are on Twitter or Tumblr, um, for example. Then thirdly, um, we like to make sure that we have KPIs and goals in place so that every single piece of content we create has a key performance indicator and that, that's about knowing what your objectives are. So if you're looking for more traffic to your website, social engagements or shares or lead generation or sales conversions, you need to know um, what those goals are before you start. It's really important to begin with that end in mind so that you can create content that will likely nudge your buyer or prospect down the sales funnel in a more effective way. Um, finally, definitely having a plan in place for after the content is published. So um, that means, as I said, data are hugely important. So digging into that and then refining and optimizing and reworking to increase the lifespan of your content assets, and which also comes in really handy when you're trying to prove the ROI um, of your content strategy to your CMO, for example. Um, it's really important to increase the lifespan of, of those pieces um, and to continually make sure that they are still relevant and still speaking to the right people. Content marketing encompasses such a broad range of skills that um, to get yourself qualified, you need to take, it's not enough to be just a writer, you know, I mean, we have an output for of courses, we have copy editing for online marketing, for example, which is a really great course to start with because your editorial skills do need to be on point in order to be an effective content marketer. Um, but then you've got to delve into the data and the analytics and the strategy behind that. So that's where courses that we, we run, such as SEO or digital marketing, they encompass all of that. Um, and, and a large portion of that focuses on, on Google Analytics, of course, which is key to, to us optimizing our strategy.